here I'm going to show you how to use our home is where the heart is template. It doesn't look like a whole lot yet, but once we add our photos, it'll shape up nicely. So let's get started and choose our add state shape here layer. Now included in this template um, is a layered Photoshop file with all 50 states. They're alphabetical here. Um, so let's choose Texas. I'm going to turn off Alabama. I'm going to come down here and find here's Texas. <clears throat> let's turn that on. Our move tool is selected. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and click on the Texas shape. Let's drag it up to our template and then we're going to let it drop onto our canvas and you can see it's small here. Um, we can size that later on just to suit our composition. Um, so now that we've got that in place, the next thing we're going to want to do is add our photo. So I've got my photo open over here as well. So same thing, let's click on the photo. Let's drag it up to our template and let's drop it down onto the canvas. And we're going to want to size this photo to fit into our um, composition. So edit, transform, scale. And while you're holding down your shift key, grab any one of these four corners so that we can actually scale this proportionally. Um, if you don't hold down your shift key, you run the risk of distorting your photo and we want to avoid that. So that looks pretty good right there. Let's hit enter on our keyboard. All right, and that scale has taken effect. Um, and now let's go ahead and right click and create a clipping mask so it clips to our Texas state. And you can see right there. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to duplicate your photo. Right click, <coughs> uh, duplicate layer. And then let's take this layer, let's drag it down in our layer template till it, we're just above this duplicated photo layer. And we're going to clip it to that layer as well. So right click, create clipping mask. And you can see it's taken on the properties of this duplicated photo layer, which has only a 70% fill, which is why you'll see it a little bit lighter here. Okay, very important. Let's go back to our photos. Let's click on one of them. Hold down your control key or command if you're on a Mac and click on your other photo. Then I want you to right click and choose link layers. What this will do is make sure that these layers stay together, whether we move them around or scale them. That's really important. Okay, so next thing we want to, let's size the Texas shape here. So <clears throat> we're going to scale this again. Edit, transform, scale. And holding down your shift key and grabbing a corner, let's scale this up until it fits our composition. I think that looks pretty good right there. Get enter on your keyboard. <clears throat> okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, I think the next thing we could do is let's put our locator on here. Um, this couple happens to be from Houston. So let's go grab the heart. And as you can see, this heart and also the crosshairs layer, they're linked together, which means you can grab just one of them and they're both going to move. So let's bring that down near Houston. And the next thing we have to do is just edit up um, our text over here. So if you double click on the T, it's going to highlight all of your text. And we can go ahead and put in the couple's information. And that's about it. Um, one thing I would like to know, you're free to come down to this duplicated photo layer and sort of adjust the fill if you'd like. Um, if you want it to be lighter, you can bring the fill down. And if you want it to be a little bit darker, you can also bring the fill up. Um, that's really going to be dependent mostly on your photos. So I think I'll go ahead and leave it right about where it was at about 70. Um, and that's about it. Mm -hmm.